paintings look absolutely stunning. 15! Yeah, have we figured it out yet? Uh, how it's dried. So this is the first time we've been in since Wednesday. It's the Starship Enterprise! Right here we are on Sunday afternoon. Yes, Sunday. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go head off to the studio. I've got some paintings to wrap up, which we're gonna do today because we're out tomorrow. So I'll go pick Adi up, see how we get on. Right, we're gonna wrap Proteus. We're gonna wrap Over and Over. And we're gonna wrap Polaris. Actually, I think there's one or two others, but we'll start with those. Right, well, that is all the paintings loaded are ready for tomorrow. We've got a great big journey ahead because we're off somewhere north of Leeds. Well, Harrogate-ish kind of way. But for one day, that's us done. Well, I've been travelling on three motorways and for nearly three hours. We're only 25 minutes away from the client. We'll be there soon. Okay, de-strap and unload. agree those just the paintings look absolutely stunning and that's seven uh, into that big house uh, I think you'll agree just look utterly amazing so now uh, what time is it half past five I'm with a three-hour drive home so we won't be back until half past eight it's another 12-hour day we've done at Suarez but an absolutely brilliant one and most importantly of all two very happy clients it's Tuesday, welcome to a beautiful sunny day here in Stroud. It should be raining, apparently, but I do believe there's a big orangey ball in the sky. It doesn't look much like rain at the moment. However, this is Britain, so I'm sure give it an hour. Know what I mean? Right, I got in early to accept a drone delivery this morning. Ooh, yes. So you want to check out vlogs that come after this because we're going to start to be using some drone footage. We're going to try it inside the gallery, but we're also going to try and do it where we film going into clients' homes and things like that. So we're going to try and up the cinematic quality uh, of what we're doing, especially when we are out in jobs with clients. And at the moment, it's horrifically busy. So there should be plenty of that to come. What is in store today? I can barely catch my breath. So I've had an hour of just filling in some of the gaps <laughs> in the gallery. And we've got quite a few, actually, because we were uh, with a client yesterday and they bought seven. That's right seven paintings in their incredible home. So there's plenty of gaps, got to fill those up, have a bit of a rearrange, which is great. That's gonna take a little bit of time. There's a client coming this evening to have a look at those two there, which is part of their commission. So we've got to get prepped for them. Also got to get prepped for tomorrow night's live stream. And it's a special one this week because we're using resin supported by our friends at Ellie Chem Resins. It's not a paid promotion, it's just 
we bought some resin off them and we're going to be using that tomorrow on the live stream so we need to construct a canvas ready to accept heavy resin so ad has got to get on with that as soon as he comes in and then uh, we're out on sunday down in london with a number of very small paintings that we've been doing as part of a commission for a client and those have got to be stretched up as well so there's 15 <laughs> to be stretched up, so I'm gonna press on with that. Oh, and did I mention a paint order to put in and collect? A stretcher bars order to put in and collect. I'm sure there's probably about another 20 things on the list. And we've only got a finite amount of time to do it, which is why I got in early. Anyway, this will be the story of the day. Right then, I'm off to go and get stretcher bars, woohoo! Right then, let me update you on where we're at. This is part of a commission which we're taking down for this coming Sunday. Yes, you heard us right. We're out on Sunday with a client down in central London. So this one that aidy has got now, which is going to stretch up, is part of that commission. And as with all of our clients, we do multiple variations so they get a choice. So I've just been doing this one here, which you've just been seeing on time lapse. Aidy's now going to start on that one. This has just been done, which looks amazing. Plus, let me show you the rest of them. So we've already done one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. So nine and 10 are on the table. 11, 12, 13, just over there. So that's what we're gonna press on with now. I think it's just about finished. Right, it is delivery time and for the life of us, we can't remember what's inside the box. Well, I guess, we'll have a look, shall we? Seems we can't remember. Ah, the other one of those. Ah, right, a gimbal mount uh, for the Osmo Pocket to go inside the van. Let us know in the comments if you worked it out before we opened the big grey package. Have you figured it out yet? There we go, guys, a new drone camera. 4K drone cam with all the accessories. Look at that. Magnificent. Now, dude, tell everybody why we've got one. Uh, well, certainly could not because we're sponsored by them, that's for sure, because I tried hard enough. <laughs> Thanks, DJI. We try to do some aerial shots when we're going to clients' spaces. We're going to try and do uh, a nice intro for the gallery tour. So this is it, guys, the cutting edge DJI Mini 2. But this is also we can bring you better sort of cinema quality. And that is it. That's all it is. Who's the little thing there? Who's the little baby? <laughs> Tiny. Look at that. Look at that. In the palm of your hand. Yeah. Can't wait to see what we can do with that. Okay. This is the moment of truth. This is the maiden test flight of the brand new drone. It's going to go one of two ways, isn't it? It's going to go spectacularly well, mate. Because we all are on the edge of our seats and we have complete confidence in your ability okay. so now we've established that no pressure successful right calibration successful okay are you ready i am ready mate <laughs> hey Wait. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, up it goes. Oh, that's a nice turn. It's a nice turn. Here it goes. There we go. How about that? It's very stable, isn't it? Look, there it is. Looking back at us. There's me waving. Incredible. Check it out. Touchdown. Awesome. Can you believe it's 7 p.m.? 
but time for shutdown now. I can't even take you through all the stuff we've done today because I just can't even remember back to this morning, to be honest with you. But that's another day here, as far as HQ. In amongst all the paintings that we've stretched up and all manner of such things, we created a very special canvas for uh, for the live stream and it's been base coated and we've tested some resins. Oh, and we've stretched nine, eight, nine paintings, maybe? Something like that. Rehung paintings in the gallery, put fresh tickets on them, rearranged in here, emptied the van, dealt with all the rubbish. Oh God, it just goes on and on and on. And of course we flew the copter as well. Woohoo! Right then. Tomorrow's live stream day, but for now, it's definitely time for home. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Good morning. The sun is shining out there. Oh, lovely. I just get a few photons in in the morning. Right, let's get open. Oh yeah, look at the sun blazing in here. Okay, several hours later, I've got a few frames made up here and there. Bigger frame over here. And it's now 10 past two. I'm gonna be heading back home to uh, my son who's 13 today. I'm gonna say happy birthday to him. And then I should come back ready later on for the live stream. Well, it looks like ad has been right on it today while I've been doing stuff working from home collecting things out in the van, some materials for a project we've got. Right, so we've got mm, just a couple of hours before live stream, I'm doing some final prep. Just ordered some more stretcher bars, just gone and prepped the canvas. We're gonna have a look at that in just a second. So whilst I'm waiting for him to come back, uh, and so we can do the final prep, I now, what was I gonna do? I started recording the video remembering what I was gonna do. And now I can't remember, there's that much going on in my head. Whatever comes next is what I'm about to do. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? Yes. Ta-da! Ed's starting to prep. Hopefully he's not walking in without his trousers on. No, no, I'm all right. No, he's got his trousers on, thank goodness for that. We're just putting socks on there. So I wouldn't want to uh, put that on anybody. <laughs> no. So yeah, we're just uh, sorting out some of the stuff for the resin pour for tonight. Say 10 to seven, it's still pretty warm in here and we're a little bit worried about what's gonna happen with, with the actual resin itself because it needs, what's the optimal temperature? 21, isn't it? Uh, 21 degrees, yeah, but the thing is, is with resin, because it has a thermal reaction when you mix resin with hardener, it's starting to cure as soon as you mix the two together. And that gets, it makes the, the life of the resin shorter, the hotter it goes. So of course we're in quite a warm day, we've got fans going everywhere. We're hopeful that when the circulation of the air goes into the pod, it cools the ambient temperature down a bit. And it means then every pot of resin I mix, I've got a little bit longer to work with it before it starts going gummy and starts to set. But it's not an exact science. We've got to kind of feel our way through this as best we can, to be honest with you. And let's go and have a look and see what the actual temperature is inside the pod, shall we? <laughs> temperature in here at the moment is uh, 24.7. It's going to be touch and go, I think. We'll see. Okay, guys, we are five minutes before live stream. He is in there, pottering away. Here's me. So there we go, guys. That's the live stream finished. Right, there we go, that's done, and it's curing. I've got about two minutes in here without a mask on. I've got it leveled, um, and we stopped it from moving around a bit, so that is live stream done. How awesome is that? Right, so we're gonna get our, so oh, thank you very much. Aliens have come to my rescue. Here he is, look. Time to lock up and go home. All righty then, here we go on Friday. Welcome aboard, everybody. Oh, I've just noticed I need to do some vacuuming. Right, okay, lots to do today. We're packing up 15, yes, one five <sighs> paintings. These ones over here, as it's a commission uh, that we're taking out to London actually on Sunday. So I'm not sure if that will make it in this week's video or next week's. 
But all this little lot's got to get packaged up today. We're going to take this out for a, yeah, it's a selection for a client to look at. Quite an involved and unusual commission, this one. We've got stuff to stretch around the frames. Actually, there's quite a bit, a few around there. Plus, I've got to collect stretcher bars again. Plus, I've got to collect paint. Don't even get me started on that. Slight mix up in the orders. So that's got to get done. Plus, I've got to start on three commission paintings. Time for a coffee and probably time to get on. Right, okay, that's the wrapping done. I think we got 15 for you. Uh, yeah, 15. I think there's 15 anyway. Can't really count. Right, so that's all done. Next job is to get them loaded onto the van. Right guys, uh, so I don't know if you saw Wednesday's live stream, I hope you did. We did something a bit special, which was a resin pour theme. So we've got these two great big bottles of resin, we've mixed it with pigments, we've mixed it with Suarez original paint, uh, the enamels, and right now we're gonna have genuinely the first look, we haven't done this for a little while, but we will wanna give you guys very first look at how it's dried. So this is the first time we've been in since Wednesday. Should we go? Let's go and have a look. Ooh, dude, look. Yeah. Oh, I say. Oh, look how that's dry. So guys, we haven't seen this yet. So we're all seeing it for the first time. Ooh. Now, I've got to tell you, we've mixed we've mixed some of the resin with the enamel paint. So we've mixed some of the resin with things like pigments and powders, which you can see over in these boxes here, which we mixed up on the night. Don't worry if you haven't seen the live stream. I'll pop a link in below the video so you can go and check it out. But this is the first time we've seen it now since we left it on Wednesday. So let's see if we can give you a little bit of a close-up. You'll see this way before everybody else does because there's no close-ups anywhere of it. So this is just purely for you to have a look. Isn't that just stunning? Just stunning. Let's just give you a few close-ups to have a look at. So there we go guys, we have, a, I think we've done one resin pour in history before, so this is only the second time we've ever attempted it. Do go and check out the video because the, the process to get from blank canvas to this is really quite something, so you might want to go and check that out when you've got a little bit of time. But there we go guys, that is our live stream painting, dry, ready to come off the table, and you got to see it first. from the images you've just seen on the screen, which I might add are all genuine client commissions. That session's gone really well, done a great long one, you know, with all the, the rocket red and everything on it. Done two smaller ones. One is a lilac in silver and gold theme, and the other one is just radiating tons of bright, happy colors. So really happy with that. And we've started a few samples for a client who's looking for a splashback for their kitchen. So I call that a very successful paint session for Friday afternoon. Now I'm gonna head off and see where Aidy is. Right then, are we ready for the first indoor flight? No. no we are, mate. We're, you, you were born ready, See that face. It says take off with take caution. Take off with caution, right, okay. So, as you can imagine, GPS controlled drone needs a GPS signal. We're in a giant Faraday cage. So we're gonna see what happens. It's hovering. There he goes. Well, <laughs> look at... Yeah! Oh, mate, it's working. 
Let's go around and have a look. Can he get it through? Can he get it through? Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Go on, mate. You can do it. We're all watching you. Afternoon. You did it. It's the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> mate, this is epic. Yeah! It works! Ha ha ha! Awesome! Yeah. Alright, let's get locked up. Mini away. We're done. <laughs>